To see people treat it like they did, horses really running them over, people being strapped, it's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. It also evoked images of some of the worst moments of our history where that kind of behavior has been used against the indigenous people of our country, has been used against African Americans during times of slavery. Secretary Pompeo, your thoughts? Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be with you. Look, uh, President Biden's comments and Vice President's comments both reflect uh, what the Democratic Party has become. They don't give the benefit of the doubt to these law enforcement people, whether they're the police officers holding the line here inside the country or these brave men and women trying to protect American sovereignty on our southern border against the chaos that the Biden administration has created. So the president uses inflammatory language like whipping. I, you know, we, we, there's still a lot of questions about precisely what was happening. We should determine what happened. But these, these men and women who are doing this work down there in very difficult conditions, they were doing their jobs. And we should make sure that every benefit of the doubt given to them, not suggest that we're just going to go punish them willy nilly because of a still photograph that we've seen and because the progressive part of the Democrat Party is up in arms and asserting racism. There's nothing to indicate that this was remotely like that. And to talk about this in the same context of slavery, just it's, it's, it's the worst of what the Democrat Progressive Party has become. You know, I mean, one question that occurs when you look at this situation. So you've got a, a border. You have people trying to cross it illegally. Uh, what what would be OK? I mean, what are they allowed to do to try to prevent people? I mean, I know what happens when you go through customs or you go through any other part of trying to enter the United States. You know, you get stopped if you don't have the proper documentation. So what what is so different here and what are they allowed to do, Secretary Pompeo, um, to, to prevent these people from crossing into the country illegally? Martha, it's, a, it's the right question. A very detailed set of rules of engagement for our Border Patrol officers. They're all briefed on it. They all know it during our time. Uh, we saw just about every single one of them, every single time, try everything they could to comply with those rules. These are law abiding law enforcement people trying their best to deliver on a national security imperative. As the secretary of state, I was very worried about what was coming across our southern border. This is we forget this is an international boundary. And it looks like this administration has decided open borders are the answer. And if there's any doubt that uh, there might be something that was untoward or uh, outside of the line that these folks are going to come down hard on the very people tasked with this mission. You, you know this, Martha. This will deter them from doing their jobs. It will create bad morale. Yeah. It'll cause people not to want to become part of this service. These are the kinds of things that happen when you talk about defunding the police and punishing Border Patrol officers when you don't really know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the thing. We've become a, a nation where we don't take a breath and do an investigation. I think that's what Peter Ducey was getting at with his question. He said, wait a minute. So the president just said this morning that those uh, agents were strapping people. And you just told us, Secretary Mayorkas, that there's an investigation going under going going forward. And I thought it was really interesting what his answer was. Secretary America said, well, I used to be a prosecutor. I, I've dealt with people saying all kinds of things out there. Um, and I know you have to sort of shut that out and do your investigation. But he's talking about the president of the United States doing this, you know, putting the cart before the horse, so to speak, and and saying, yeah. you know, we saw what they did and they will pay, Secretary. Right. Verdict first, jury second. <laughs> Uh, this is deeply un-American. It's, it's more than even the failure to offer due process. It is, it is foisting this message on the American people. And presidents ought not to do that. President Biden shouldn't have done that. This is, this is, not, this is, this is a ho horrific way to lead. He should have said, we're looking at this. We want to evaluate it. We want to make sure that our officers are performing in the way that they've been instructed to and left it at that. But we know, we know more than this, Martha. We know that the bigger picture, when you step back from that particular incident, we know that the chaos that has been created is going to lead to even more illegal immigration. If you're someone thinking about coming in and you've watched this last week or 10 days, you know they were released. These numbers don't add up. There are a lot of people released into the United States in the last couple of weeks, and it's going to lead to more illegal immigration in the days and weeks ahead. I can assure you of that. Yeah. Well, and I know one thing, and I'm not saying this isn't a valid discussion about what happened here at, at, at the water's edge, um, but it also moves the discussion off of this 
chaos that we have been seeing and what I think many people would say is inhumane treatment of what was, what's going on in terms of, of these all these individuals who were expected. We watched them coming um, and now we're being told that it was all it was all clean and good and everybody had food and water. We saw with our own eyes that wasn't necessarily the case. We're going to go back now to this um, press briefing and Secretary Pompeo, we're, thank you very much for being with us.